Hey guys, Bobby here. I thought I'd do a quick video on a Spider Codelica and the Endura. Uh, both great knives, and honestly, I have you know I have quite a few knives, but uh, these two probably get more use than anything else I have. Um, as you can see, the this Endura has been through it. It's kind of like my uh, everyone has a beater knife, you know, or if you don't, you probably will if you're watching this video. But for me, it's definitely this one. Uh, you know, whenever I have to pull weeds or anything in the yard or any kind of yard work or real hard use, <clears throat> this this is the knife that, <laughs> that goes through it. Uh, me and one of my buddies, we were, you know, practicing stone washing, uh, acid finishes and stuff like that. And, you know, this is pretty much this is what gets practice on. As you can see, all the screws have been taken apart. Um, pocket clip, it's all been uh, acid, you know, I had acid wash. Uh, but, <clears throat> so these two knives, I mean, they're, they're both great. Uh, like I said, I, I generally have this, uh, this is my beater. You know, it's a 3.75 inch blade. Slice is great. I mean, food prep, pretty much anything that you could use a knife for. I mean, this can this can do a nice nice length blade. Uh, the Delica. I mean, this is really this is a great EDC knife, especially around you know. The, I mean, these knives are in like the fifty sixty dollar range. So, you know, <clears throat> if I do something uh, hard use, you know, I, I don't feel bad about putting these knives through their paces. I mean, uh, you know, $50 or so. I mean, these are great, great uh, values. Uh, this has, you know, three inch blade, uh, FRN scales, they both have FRN. And, you know, I, I really like, I, I like both these knives quite a bit. <clears throat> I think I did a video, uh, what got me into knife collecting. And, uh, you know, it was really this knife right here. You know, I, uh, it was my first, you know, I really liked, uh, you know, that spider hole, um, all the different ways that you can open it, uh, you know, my thumb, you know, pretty much everything about it. I mean, uh, you know, I once, especially once I got that down, you know, I really liked flicking it with my, uh, with my metal finger there. And uh, let's see if I could, ah, oh, no, fail. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... I mean, that's a, you know, great knives. I uh, brought a couple, I mean, this one's bigger, obviously, 3.75. And, uh, I mean, you guys can just see that, that comparison. You know, so I, I do get a lot of use out of this knife. But uh, <clears throat> just give you guys some size comparisons. Um, you know, I got the Dragonfly, G10 Dragonfly there. Uh, you know, a lot of guys always say, like, what knife should they get for their, uh, for their, girlfriend or wives or something uh <clears throat> well first of all you know you know a female pockets especially like jeans pockets or anything i mean they're real small in the front so if they're gonna have something i mean something like this you know any of these probably these ones here i mean those are all great options you know uh, these are all you know three inch blades or smaller <laughs> and uh you know easy to deploy uh, real you know good practical use and uh, <clears throat> but I'll just give you guys some size comparisons you know that's that's against the dragonfly there you see not too much uh, I mean stock and all that's pretty much gonna be the same uh, both have that uh, lock back design which I mean it, it's good you know it's a uh, definitely not as fun to me you know I prefer uh, a liner or a frame lock. I really like the frame lock a lot, but uh, <clears throat> compression lock is probably my favorite. You know, and that's doesn't get better than that. I, I love that compression lock on the paramilitary there. But yeah, so give you guys. Uh, I mean, this is a three-inch blade, and uh, I don't know if I say I'll throw all the stats in the description. The weight. I mean, it pretty much weighs nothing. You don't even have to clip this to your pocket. You could really just, you know, uh, just toss that in your, in your. You don't have to clip it to your pocket. You could just toss it in your pocket because it doesn't really weigh anything. 
your FRN is not going to get scratched up. So, I mean, the only thing I would have probably liked is, you know, obviously if they had a stone wash finish. And that is, uh, I, I do like the satin. It's, it is pretty nice. Uh, VG10 steel uh, stays, you know, of course, made in Japan. Seki City, Japan. or But, uh, give you guys a size comparison. Both these are, you know, three inch, three inch knives. Uh, and this one has, let's see, stock to stock. Probably put this in the front. Uh, or pivot to pivot. Actually, this looks a little, this looks a little more, but they're both supposed to be three. I think this is 2.9, if I'm correct. But like I said, I'll throw the stats. I mean, we can see it. I mean, that's, that's barely. This has, it has a bigger blade uh, thickness wise than this one does. But I mean, both perform very well. This S30V, of course. But, you know, VG10 is good still. <clears throat> Uh, you, you're not going to worry about rust corrosion or any rust or anything and you know that's pretty much the same as the comparison I just made there but you know like I was saying uh, for in that 50 to 60 dollar range and you really can't go wrong getting these knives uh, especially you know if you have more expensive knives and yeah I, I don't mind putting those through their paces but like I said I just don't feel bad about you know if I was to do something uh, you know really scratched it up or something but uh great knives i really like them and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks bye